Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another daily vibe for the 26th. Uh, this is going to be like a love vibe, a daily love vibe. We're just going to see what comes up for love, since that last one, you know, was about transformation. <laughs> and, you know, that does involve love, but we're just going to try to concentrate on love and see what happens. So... Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, we want to, we're looking for something in regards to relationships here, specifically, specifically for my audience, okay? So let's see what we can come up with. Mm. Flipped right over, too. Codependency. Oh. <laughs> Well, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Somebody has, well, the card speaks for itself. Addictions get, cloud people's thoughts. They allow people to escape reality. And when you escape reality, you, your romantic life isn't real. So, you know, because you escaped it. This could be an obsession as well, codependency, an obsession to something, which would be an addiction, okay? Um, you know, we have somebody here that may be staying in a situation because of ego, you know, because of, well, addiction. Is, yeah, I'm thinking about the devil card here, which is an addiction card, which is ruled by ego, whatever. Just popped in my head, the devil card. Somebody could be staying in an unhealthy situation just to have somebody. That's what codependency is. I gotta have somebody and I will mask it with an addiction. So, let's see what else. We're gonna get one more. We have a codependent, codependency issue here. Somebody's romantic life is being affected. Somebody is probably, you know, escaping reality in some way. And addictions come in many forms many forms it's not just drugs okay it's not one more card soulmate yes this is your soulmate Let's get some more cards. Maybe somebody knows who their soulmate is. We got somebody who's really discontent over here. This person's not looking very happy. It's like the, if this one knows. Somebody knows who their soulmate is. But their addictions may be getting in the way. Of being with this soulmate. They could be obsessed with the wrong one. Or they could be holding on to the wrong one. You know, whatever. What do we got for the 26? Avoiding challenge. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. I don't want to deal with any challenges. Nope. We got somebody here that has great personal fear. They are overwhelmed by challenge. They don't like to f face challenges. It would be best to just escape. Ooh. Wow. Dashed expectations delaying an arrival. <laughs> Well, delaying expansion, not prepared and unprepared, unprepared to deal with any challenges. Okay, all right. Happiness here, opportunity for happiness, opportunity for growth, opportunity for a rebirth. Ooh, but holding on to a dead end. Well, imagine that. Can you even imagine it? I can is holding on to a dead end and it is getting old it is getting 
old. We got somebody here that is very defensive. On the defensive. Pushing others away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get the rest of the cards. <clears throat> not cooperating. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Observation. We got somebody who is observing. Yes. Observing, watching, taking notes. We got somebody here that is has their guard up. Really, really in a state of depression over their own happiness. I know hey, I like to see those, right? This is a state of despair. Really, really struggling. Really, really struggling with to be happy. They're hiding their pain. Absolutely. With some sort of addiction. Yep. Absolutely. This is this is avoiding challenge right here, but this is about ready to open up. About ready. This person is about ready to open up. Somebody is about they've delayed for long enough. But now it's like they're finding some confidence. This is somebody that is very confident, somebody that gets like this is a sudden epiphany it's a sudden idea okay we get this person that gets this sudden idea to face their fears of some sort because this is a very confident night somebody who's got a new idea all of a sudden this person this is a sudden this suddenly all of a sudden this person decides to take action decides to get moving and open up but they are fearful of the challenge. This person is fearful. But they are going to find the confidence. They have delayed. They didn't want to do it. They don't want it. They're scared. They are scared. But they are finding the confidence to face their fears. And this is like a sudden thing. It's like this person wants to open up right here. It starts out with, I want to. I'd like to. But I don't dare to. You know. Here we have... You know, I'm not sure if I'm prepared for it. I'm not sure if I dare. What if I get rejected? Here we have somebody that is actually taking action. This is like, you know, this is the sort of power. It's the sort of truth. It's the sort of communication. It's, you know, it's sudden. It's a sudden new thought. It's a sudden new idea. It's an epiphany. It's a wake up call of some sort. This person suddenly, you know, gets some sort of notion or thought or idea, you know, that I got to go. I gotta go. Here we have worried. Anxious. You know, unsure. This person doesn't know what to do. So this person may head in. And this person doesn't know what to do. So just be careful. I mean, you may have somebody that comes in your direction and yet you're like, oh shit. Oh shit. You know. Can this person really make me happy? Can this person really make me happy? I mean, this could be somebody new. This could be this is this could be somebody. This is like a sudden arrival. Suddenly, some that has this arrival has been delayed. You're not prepared for it. Okay. All of a sudden, somebody arrives in your. You know whether they. It looks like they arrive. I don't know if they show up at your house or they show up at your job or. I don't know what, but this is an arrival, and this is an arrival, and this could be an arrival. So I'm not sure how they arrive, but I suppose it could be through text messages. It could be supposedly, I mean, we have the Seven of Wands, not the Eight of Wands, but it could be. You know, but it really looks like an arrival that you're not prepared for. It's like, you could, actually, you could run into this person um, someplace. Because there's two peep, two different like vehicles here, so you could you could be out traveling and run into this person, run into this person, you know.
<laughs> that could be the case. All of a sudden, they, they start talking. They start opening up to you suddenly. Okay, just just saying that could happen. This right here, this is this is protection mode, defense mode. We have somebody here that has been observing. They've been watching. They're very curious. This person um, is very thoughtful. This person is thinking. This person is really thinking about what everybody else is going to say as well thinking that this person is thinking that if they you know do what they want to do they're going to have to probably push other people away so that's part of this situation as well um i feel like we have somebody here that is fearful of conflict fearful of rejection and fearful of biting off more than they can chew I feel like we. this is holding on to a dead end. Somebody has been holding on. It's getting old, but now this is a change in direction. It's it's mastering your emotions, getting in the driver's seat, and, and heading in a new direction, traveling to wherever it is that you need to go. You know? So it feels like we have some... This is travel. So there's going to be some travel that could actually... Two people run into each other, and then there's a, a feeling of despair or or anxiety, or depression, or guilt, or regrets, or something like that, because I don't know why you do, but whatever. Anyway, there's some sort of, um, well, the last reading was about forgiveness. So this could have to do with the forgiveness and transformation. So I'm wondering if this has to do with that last reading where somebody comes in and they want forgiveness, you know? <laughs> hey. Uh, that just came out of my mouth so I don't know they could get this awakening you know that who knows what um defend yourself stand your ground protect yourself protect yourself stand your ground my you know stand your ground um I feel as though there is somebody arriving and it's gonna happen suddenly um this could lead to happiness. This could be a rebirth. This could be a renew renewal. A renewal of happiness. This could make you very happy if you could... This is anxiety, and anxiety is ruled by fear, okay? And we have somebody here that's been avoiding challenge. So it feels like there's an opportunity. It's like two people are meeting up. They're meeting up with each other in some way. We have somebody here that has been holding on to a dead end, and it has gotten to the point where... It's like, ah, this is old. It's not even fun anymore. You know, it's not even realistic. And it feels as though we have somebody here that is, is deciding to take a stand or stand up for themselves or to do something. But And they know that once they do, they're going to have to push other people away. Um, there could be a conflict. You could receive a message that makes you feel very conflicted. Conflicted. There could be some communication between you and another person, whether you run into them, you know, spontaneously on the road or at the store or whatever, or this could be communication coming in another form. I don't know, but this could make you feel very conflicted. You know, you're like, oh, God, please, why? I don't, you know, that kind of thing. Why? Now I, now I got to even deal with this. Now I even got to worry about this. Why did it, you know, it's like that kind of thing where I did not, I was not prepared to get this information. So you may get a message that you were not prepared to hear. Put it that way. Um, this may help you to move forward. It may help you to, you know, transform in some way. Go in another direction. What Somebody's going to receive a message or some information that they didn't expect to hear. And it is going to help them possibly to release. It could help them to release somebody, to stand their ground, to, to push somebody away for good. That could be the case. I don't know. This is release as well. So somebody could be releasing. Somebody could be letting go of the dead end. Maybe they meet up with somebody and there's a sudden, sudden opportunity for to come together, you know, to join forces with somebody. These two people are holding, two kids are holding hands, whatever. You know, maybe there's a, 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 a the, 
a sudden kind of arrival that helps you to let go of a dead end, you know. Um, there is a message coming in or some sort of message or communication that comes in that helps you to or pushes you in a new direction. It literally, it, it makes me feel like you need to get in your vehicle and go. You know, whether it's you or me or whoever it is, it's like, I got to go. I got to go. I've, I've heard enough. I got to go. There's worry here. There's worry. So, anyway, we're going to get a couple more cards. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is a loss of something stable, a loss of something secure. Somebody has rejected an offer. You know, there's there's no nothing stable here, not, nothing secure. I, I Somebody that, that... Let me get one more card. Ooh, yeah, somebody's rejecting an offer. Somebody is probably going to reject an offer. Hmm, that's what the message is, too. So there's a loss. There's a loss here. There is. There is. Um... I don't have nothing to offer you. That's all there is to it. So, I feel like we, we have some sort of encounter that may happen that pushes somebody in a new direction very quickly. So there's probably going to be a conflict or a message that you don't want to hear. I'm sorry. I think that there's going to be a struggle. There's going to be some sort of struggle because at one time... You know, you may have thought this was going to bring you happiness or something like that. But, mm, no, I don't see it. I don't, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to protect myself. Uh, there's no love here. There's nothing stable here. There's nothing secure here. And holding on to this dead end has gotten old. I'm now the king of the road. I'm now the boss. I, I'm now in control of my emotions. The answer is no. So anyway, that's what I got. Loss of a relationship, loss of a friendship, loss, the loss. So that's what I got for a love reading. Yes, this was a soulmate. We have soulmates that come into our life to teach us a lesson. This soulmate has taught you a lesson about your value, about what love is supposed to be. So I think there will probably be an encounter. Oh, I hope to God there isn't. I should just stay home. That allows you to move forward in a new direction. There's going to be some opposition. So have a good day.